Hi, my name is Savitri Wilder and today I'd like to show you how I usually tie my ribbon to make it into a those bunny ear bows. So here's my piece of paper and this is the opening down here but what I do to when I do my ribbon is that I'll flip it over so that it's you know the opening is going the opposite direction and I'll just tie this and usually I'll have the loose end over on the left side and I think this depends on whether or not you're left-handed or right-handed and I'm right-handed so it's more comfortable for me to hold the loop here on the left and I'll just take this loose end and wrap it around. It's kind of like tying a shoelace and you just adjust it according to what you need and you pull. And why do I, you know, go the opposite direction? Why can't I just make my ribbon go, you know, do it this way with the opening towards me? You can do that, but I like to have this end here, the one that loops around it to be on top. That way when somebody's looking at the card from the top, you'll see this nice end instead of the um, kind of not too nice portion over here see where the loop goes in so that's why I like to flip it over but like I said you can do it the other way but my preference is just doing it this way so that's one way of doing a ribbon and let's get to um, a different type alright so this next portion um, I have a polka dot ribbon and the way I like to do my polka dots is that you know, I can, the more polka dots I see, the better I like the ribbon. I don't like it when I see dots here and then this solid end, you know, coming out that way. And it's a matter of preference, but, you know, I'm kind of, maybe I'm kind of particular or whatnot. So here I go again. Here's my ribbon and the opening flap is facing me. And I'll just... Move this around and the loose end is on my left. Again, I'm right-handed. So I'll put my ribbon like this. I'll make my first knot and instead of wrapping this around, I make another knot over here. And then next thing I do is take my knot, my bottom knot, around. Might have to do some flipping a little bit, but here is my ribbon afterwards. And you just cut it accordingly and do whatever you want to do after that. And this part with the polka dots doing it this way, I have to do a little bit of adjusting. It takes me a little while to get it perfect because I have to pull a little bit here and there, but at the end, I'll get something that I like and if worse comes to worse if I don't like the knot that's why I use buttons quite a bit is you can always pick a button and stick it right there in the middle covers lots of imperfections so that's that and can you do it the other way well let's try you know let's do the other method and pull it in and if you do it that way, you can see that there's the polka dots here and then the solids over there. And like I said, I don't quite like doing it that way. Let's do another one. Let's do this. And instead of putting the bottom over the back, I'm going to take this over the back to see what it would look like. And again, I see the solid over here. So that's why I like doing it the way I do it. Around the bunny ear, this one forward, and loop it around the front. Like I said, it'll take a little bit to adjust your ribbon, but you know, after maybe messing around with it for a minute or two, you'll get that all the way polka dots. So that's how I use the polka dot ribbon. All right, and the last one, how do you get your ribbon so that the edges would flip the other way? You know, you've seen people's cards that are like this where the loops on this end, you have these cute little end flipping out on to the other side. Then you can put a piece of paper here and maybe a button or whatnot over here. 
Well, to do this one, let me just open this back up. You have, again, you know, my loose end coming in from this direction over here. And the flap is opening towards me. And I'll twist this around. And I'll use the method, like the polka dot method. Loop here and loop this around that way. And I will take the one that's on the bottom around the bottom of this other one. So it'll go like this and around this way. And you'll have the two flaps going the other way. And actually both of them are on top because I've heard people asking how you can get the bows to both be going towards the same direction and on top of the bow. And so that's how you do it. Hope that clears things up and you'll be able to make pretty ribbons from this day on. Thanks for watching.